Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix Critical Mode on the PlayStation 4. Missile Dine Online, that's me, what's up? Alright, in the last episode we arrived here in Agrabah. We met Aladdin and we discovered that the, uh, the lamp that holds Jafar, thanks to Iago, who apparently is now on our side, the map is under a merchant's control, which is not good for us, so we need to head over to that, that scary gas cloud over there. Uh, where we can go to the Cave of Wonders, but before we do that, now I actually highly recommend doing this just for a little bit. We'll put Donald in our party, we'll get Latin out. Now you'll see that we have a, a full drive gauge. Perfect. Let's go into the bazaar. And as soon as we're in here, let's go ahead and pop Wisdom Form, and then we are just gonna go ahead and kill as much stuff as we possibly can while we can. Uh, this is ideal. Now, the reason for this is because we want to kill all of these as much as we can. Now, keep a close eye on your drive gauge. You actually don't want to waste it. Don't, la don't allow your drive gauge to go away. You want to keep doing this as much as you can. We are in one. As soon as we get kind of close to zero, we're going to go ahead, hopefully kill him. He's down. Go right inside back to this area, and you'll notice that we have a full drive gauge. You keep doing this over and over and over and kill as many of these as you can and you will be able to get wisdom form up there super super quickly which i recommend doing because you can get some really cool stuff by leveling your drive gauges as we've talked about before uh but again because wisdom has such such a low amount on with for us we want to make sure that we're doing this uh basically whenever we know enemies are going to spawn because again look we're already at we're already at one and we haven't fully uh been able to kill all of these but i think we'll be able to right now and maybe even be able to gain a level uh in a second we're just actually going to go pop over here and then we are going to be right back to it now, if we head inside, because I believe we've killed all the enemies that we can right here, we'll go into Agrabah itself, and we'll go ahead and we'll finally pop Wisdom Form, which will go ahead and actually kill that soldier, and then we can lay into these other ones. Now, again, you want to keep a close eye on your actual grit gauge. That is super, super important. If it goes away, that will be it for you. So we'll go ahead and target these shadows. This is perfect for us. Uh, and Wisdom Form leveled up our Form Gauge, and we learned Auto Wisdom. That's awesome. All right, so we can see if we can lay into these guys a little bit. And our dr our drive gauge is uh, starting to go away a little bit. So let's go ahead and see if we can do this. And then now we need to go all the way. Come on. We need to go all the way back and hopefully be able to do this without losing our thing. Luckily, we got that, that little speed boost and we made it. Once you feel a little satisfied with what you've done and any levels you've gained, let's go ahead and head towards the Cave of Wonders. This is it! Alright, we're gonna have a bunch of Heartless that are going to come, so I recommend having your drive gauge ready and going ahead and popping that as quickly as you can because you want to make sure that yet again you are taking advantage of all of these really, really easy to kill enemies and make sure that you are getting your, your drive gauges, your Valor forms as high as possible. That is like... That is like the thing you want to be doing. So right back here, we can pick up a Power Stone, and right here, we can grab a Daylight Puzzle Piece, which is good for us. And then we can use Ship Shot, that Reaction Command that will take care of these, these little caster guys, which is good for us. And then we can kind of lay into these guys again, and you'll see Wisdom Form is already, it's just cruising, baby. It's just cruising. All right, and we get a Mithril Shard right there, and I believe we are free to enter into the Cave of Wonders. Now we did of course see the one and only, the one and only. Oh, these are new enemies that we have now. Uh, these are kind of like a uh, gypsy type enemy, if you will. Pretty easy to take down, to be honest with you. All right, and now our drive form. Oh no, let's see if we can kill these guys real quick. Uh, we weren't able to. Oh. So those new enemies that are riding a ball are card Fortune Tellers. They are immune to Blizzard magic, so don't use that at all. They have a chance to drop Frost Gems and Energy Gems. Now, pretty much they will come with the new enemy that we just defeated, those Fiery Globes, which kind of make difficult to use magic at all, uh, which is annoying because the Fiery Globes guard against fire and the other ones guard against Blizzard, so it's just kind of difficult, but you can kill them 
pretty easily. Uh, that is for sure. The Fortune Teller does have a pretty strong attack uh, called Ice Crystals, but you can actually guard against that and not have a problem with them whatsoever. So right up here, we can jump and open this up and get a high potion. Woo! Uh, and over here, let's go ahead and see if we can open this up without too many enemies coming into us, unfortunately. Uh, these Fortune Tellers actually kind of remind me of... Oops. Meant to... Uh, there we go. Oh, yeah. Reaction boost. Oh. Oh. Oh, Sora. Oh, Sora. You're so strong. So we did get a level up there on Sora, and I would recommend actually going to his abilities and checking out what he just got. Um, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, reaction boost. This will uh, increase damage dealt using reaction commands by 50%, which, by the way, is flipping huge, guys. That is so important. Uh, we are actually going to get rid of... Uh, what do we want to get rid of here? Let's get rid of damage drive, in fact, uh, just because you don't really want to be taking damage to begin with. Uh, so we could do that, or we could, of course, go into our uh, stock here and just use AP boost on Sora. Yeah, you know what? That works for me. That works for me. Uh, considering that we are now at 88 AP on Sora, which is just redonkulously, redonkulously good. Okay, cool. Now we can continue on, get some of these, hopefully build up our drive gauge so we can go ahead and use it again. Kill these fiery globes if you want. Uh, your main focus, though, should of course be these guys. As you can tell, they do a ton of damage. We'll just go ahead and cure real quick. Unfortunately, Donald also cured me. Stupid Donald. Uh, it's fine. We can grab this item, which is going to be a mythical stone. Now, you'll actually notice, uh, if you played the first game, that they actually changed the Cave of Wonders around a lot. Um, and it's a lot more linear now in this area. But to be honest, I kind of like it more. Uh, just because it's just a little easier just to get. Especially when you've already been to a world um, before, it's kind of nice to at least have it be a little different. So right here, of course, we can grab a frontier puzzle piece. And now we have to deal with two of these. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use Blizzard right off the bat, which is going to do a ton of damage against them. Uh, now we need to be careful here and see if we can use full swing. Uh, unfortunately, we weren't able to, but we are going to be able to hopefully take this guy out. Uh-oh. Uh, again, these are fat bandits, so we want to be careful here. I did not mean to use that. There we go. Down he goes. Uh, and Cyclone right on this soldier, which will take him out as well. And then, of course, we can focus on the fat bandit himself, uh, which actually should be able to be able to do a ton of damage against him uh, just because of the way these guys work. And full swing will kill him, and we'll get a blazing gem, which is awesome. All of the synthesizing items are well worth it. And again, you just want to kind of, like I've said so many times before, because we're playing on critical mode, if you have the opportunity to kill some dudes, you should probably kill some dudes. Let's head down here. All right, the Cave of Wonders. So we only have this in front of us. Looks like a bunch of different stuff. Let's go ahead and examine this. A jewel floats above. Interesting, interesting. Let's go ahead and, uh, and see what happens if we switch up our party here. Let's put Aladdin in place of Donald. What happens now when we examine it? A jewel floats above. Really? Nothing? Okay. Well, let's see if we examine this and see if it says what needs to happen. Looks like something might fit in the pedestal hole. I'm stupid. Lead a boo to the pedestal and soothe the wrath. Uh oh, uh oh. Alright, we're fine, we're fine. Uh oh. Jump over this. See, you actually have to command him to jump, which is kind of annoying. Uh, this whole section is like really, really frustrating. Uh, because as you can see, a boo. There we go. Now we can tell him to go again. And then jump. There we go. And then go. And then, ready? And then, there we go, we did it! Summon boost for Sora, Donald, learn Blizzard. Uh, Goofy got HP and Aladdin got HP. Always good. I did that so sloppily. So sloppily.
All right, we got a new save point that appeared though, so this is the perfect time to save your game. Once you've saved your game, feel free to come over here to talk to Iago. He's not going to say too much besides that the statues have guarded it. Anyway, don't forget that I'm here to help you as long as it's not too dangerous. Thanks, Iago. All right, so now we are going to enter into a challenge mode. So make sure that you are ready. Oops, I meant to activate that. And basically, you just have to defeat some enemies in the time allotted. This is actually pretty darn easy. Uh, the first enemies that we are going to fight are going to be ice ice cubes, basically. Uh, we are going to destroy these and have absolutely no problem whatsoever. Done they go. And now we can go on this. If any of the floor, if all of the floors disappear, now we can go ahead and grab this puzzle piece. Now, there are three puzzle pieces that we can get just right here. So we want to make sure that we grab all of those, which can actually be kind of challenging to grab the very last one. Uh, so right here, we have a fat bandit. We can actually go ahead and defeat him uh, just by getting him behind him and laying into him and hitting him with full swing, which will kill him. That reaction command is so good. And then right over here, you'll see that there is kind of this one right there. We can grab that daylight puzzle. You can grab that even once you land. Uh, it's not just just on the ground. So we want to see if we can lay into these, uh, lay into him again, uh, and get out of that. That is not good. That is not good. Okay, there we go. I wanted to make sure that we. Oh no, this isn't good, man. All right, here we go. Unfortunately for us, Donald actually keeps healing us. This is really frustrating, uh, just because I can't actually get around. There we go. And then full swing, and he's dead. Okay, good. Now we will land on our final one. Now, this is where you have to be a little careful, uh, because there is indeed a puzzle piece that you can get here, as long as we fall in the right area. There we go. We were able to grab it. So you kind of want to make sure that you are ready and prepared to grab that, like I said. Because that is your opportunity to do it. Now we need to go ahead and take care of these fortune tellers real quick. Uh, and down we go. We were able to do it with 30 seconds or so remaining. Not bad, Corey. Not bad. Nice staircase. So you were able to get that. I actually don't believe that we could get that right now unless we had a really high jump, which unfortunately we do not. So right there will actually port us to the beginning, uh, but we can go ahead and grab this chest, which will be, if I'm not mistaken, a Cave of Wonders map. Heck yeah. There's also another save point here if we so choose, and we can open this up and get another AP boost. We can also translate this, Victor of the Trial, you possess great strength. It's true. Alright, we did it. Uh, I recommend saving before going any further. Alright, as soon as you are ready, proceed through the open door. After talking to Iago, judging by the look of things, I'd say we're almost there. I just hope we can get what we want without any trouble. So again, I just want to uh, reiterate that if you missed anything during that little event, you can come over here, examine this, and that will help you. Alright, time to face, uh, well... I hope you have a full drive gauge, baby booze. Alright, time to use 
our new thing. Now, first, defeat all of the Heartless. Remember, using limits and uh, drives will make the battle easier. Now, we are going to go up right off the bat, and we are going to use Valor Form because we have a ton of these kind of low-level enemies right now. To be honest with you, this is pretty easy because these have so little health, so they die super quick. And again, since the way you level limits is by how many enemies you kill, uh, you can pretty much level anything you want here pretty easily. So we are going to focus on Valor Form, mostly because we don't have Donald in the party, but Donald did level up, his magic increase, he's now level 24. Um, and we will just focus on defeating these as much as we can, and we need to be super, super careful here. Uh, because, again, these bandits can do a lot of damage to you, especially when they're all grouped up like this. Uh, now, we want to go ahead and see if we can use an item, use that potion real quick, save us some room, and then we'll go ahead and lay into this one yet again. Uh, this is uh, really, really scary, to be honest with you. All right, so let's see if we can actually use a limit here. Uh, let's go ahead and use our speedster. There we go. And we will just go ahead and do this as much as possible. And then we will go, just go ahead and do this. And hopefully we will be able to kill all of these. And then there we go. We were able to see Aladdin's trickster auto limit, which is so strong. So strong. And then we can hopefully be able to kill this one. There we go. Perfect. Now we can lay in to this one and be able to call it a day. Maximum HP increased for both, uh, for three of us, Sora, Donald, and Aladdin. <sighs> Goofy learned auto healing. Let's go. Hello. Stop your whining and hand it over. Oh no, I'm trading it for treasure. This lamp is going to bring me riches. Oh, no, you don't know. Uh, get back here, you little... Okay, but we're not done yet, actually. Uh, nope, not even close. Instead, we want to head all the way back to the, uh, to the, the Cave of Wonders where we were. So, I'm actually going to just cut ahead. Uh, there's some items there that we can grab now, and might as well, right? Alright, so now that you're back in the Cape of Wonders treasure room, you want to jump over here, grab that, and you get the Sunset Puzzle Piece. And then, don't worry about it, you want to make sure you have your Drive Gauge, or at least High Jump Level 2. That is the only way that you are actually going to be able to get up there and be able to hit that. So you want to make sure that, if you can, that you have that available to you. Uh, that's pretty much the, uh, the only thing that you need here, is just that Valor form. Other than that, you should be totally fine. Or high jump to growth ability, if you have it. Uh, then, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and open this chest for a Serenity Gym, which is highly, highly recommended that you come and get for synthesizing, obviously. And another AP boost, and of course, another puzzle piece. The Daylight Puzzle Piece. So, we've got a ton. Now, let's see if we can use the rest of our Drive Gauge to get back to the Bazaar. Alright, so now that you're back in Agrabah, you want to head to the Peddler Shop. Uh, right inside here, we do have access to a Moogle and to a save point, which I highly, highly recommend. One, dropping off all your synthesizing items, see if you get anything good from that. We got a, a magic boost and an AP boost, which is uh, pretty gnarly for us. And pretty much that's all that we can get right now, although we could make a Blazaga armlet and a Fir Firega bangle, uh, which are actually going to be super, super useful in the fight coming up. So if you don't have these and you want them, uh, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that you shouldn't get them. Right now is a good time to go ahead and synthesize one of these. And synthesize one of these. Perfect. Then immediately you want to head on over to your, uh, your items there for Sora. And you want to give them the Fireaga Bangle and the Blazaga Bangle. Ooh. Apparently that doesn't work that well. Uh, you can only equip one or the other, unfortunately. It looks like you can't actually stack them, which is very interesting and not something that I actually knew. So we're going to go ahead and give Aladdin uh, the Blazaga one. Hopefully that should be fine for him. Let's also give him the Dark Anklet, and uh, Goofy is fine with what he has. Uh, let's also make sure that they have plenty of items. All right, as soon as you are ready, we are going to head towards the palace. Uh, we do have a boss fight coming up, so make sure... You're ready. Just skip these dudes. There's no reason to fight them. Oh, well, of course he hit us. Uh, we're just going to run right past them and right to the palace. Thank you. It's mine. Lamp hog. Go away. Gotcha. 
No fair. <laughs> I win. Huh? Oh. Nice one, Iago. Way to go. Don't drop that. Look behind you. <laughs> nice try, bird brain. Just wait till Jafar's free. He's gonna make one beauty of a heartless. Princely little muffin, you! Cosmic travel can get so lonely without a friend! The thing I left you forlorn and genie-less! Oh, the humanity! <laughs> Gen hey, Al, have we been putting up late? Oh, of course, what am I saying? You're living at the palace now! Aladdin! Jasmine! I can just picture it! Wait, tell me, am I being a pest? Just a big blue pest? Oh, who cares, Al? I'm just so glad to see you! Genie! Oop. I'll teach you to make a fool out of me! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Time for plan B! I'm finishing you mugs off right now! He's Mr. Pied Miser. I'm Mr. Snow. Alright, so we have a battle against the Volcano Lord, and we need to make sure that we are using reaction commands as much as possible, because that will actually hit each other and cause them to do a pretty significant amount of damage to each other. Now, we are going to lay into them as much as possible. They will break up into uh, all of these different things. Now, you want to get out of that breath as much as you can. Aladdin did level up, which is good for us. And we're going to go ahead and pop Valor form and hopefully be able to destroy all of these ice cubes and fiery globes that actually end up spawning from these enemies. Uh, now, we want to make sure that we use... Uh, uh, all of our reaction fans. We got Fire Gun and Blizzard Gun. Uh, Blizzard Gun, right now, we are going to use that and we are going to toss them at each other. They will hit each other and do damage. And then, of course, we will go be able to jump in and hit them once again ourselves. They will break in the smaller little bits. Uh, but for the most part, it's not a huge problem. Now, we're actually going to do this yet again. Throw them at each other. You want to stay on top of these reaction commands as much as possible. It really is the fastest way to do a, just a tremendous amount of damage to all of them, as you can see. And now we will go ahead and we will just hit them once again. We can go ahead. Oh, look at this. We're barely even taking damage, dude. Barely even taking damage. They did hit each other, which is perfect. And then, of course, go in with this. And the lower health they get, the more damage that they will actually do to each other. Which uh, isn't ideal, but we did take care of the fire one now we can go ahead and do this and hopefully be able to finish them off this is not a hard fight by any means uh these guys are probably some of the easiest bosses that you will actually fight in the game as you can see finishing leap uh yeah sora learned finishing leap that's pretty cool goofy gained an armor slot uh and that's pretty much it with me for the last time. I'm gonna get you yet. Yeah! <laughs> All right!
I promise you won't regret giving me another chance, honest. I can't do Gilbert Godfrey. Uh, Princess Jasmine, you sure you want that pigeon? I think Iago's shown that he means well. I think so too, Jasmine. Ah, sure, you're probably right. I have a question. Why doesn't Genie have legs? Because he got them at the end of the first game. You, mu you just might have a point there, kid. What happens next, Sora? Well, it was great seeing you all, but we still need to find Riku and the King. I guess we'll be moving on. I hope you find him. Me too. Hey, where's Aladdin? He ran off toward town looking for Abu, but he should be back by now. Al can't miss Sora's big farewell party. I'll have him back in a jiffy. Abu! Catch him! He must have secretly stolen it from the Cave of Wonders. But yes, some things are just hard to resist. Sora, what is it? I think it's time for us to go. Will you be back? We will, I promise. And we get the lamp charm, which allows us to summon Genie yet again. Maybe waiting isn't good enough. My thoughts exactly. If you have a dream, don't wait. Act. One of life's little rules. You got it memorized? Who are you? Axel. I happen to be an acquaintance of Sora's. Why don't we go see him? Sora? We've got something in common, Kyrie. You and I both miss someone we care about. Hey, I feel like we're friends already. You're not acting very friendly. What is this place? Huh? 
You okay? <sighs> what? You and that dog came flying out of a hole in the wall. He nearly gave us heart attacks. And with that, we're done with Agrabah. It looks like we have two new worlds to head to. One new world. And it looks like we can head to Twilight Town. But we have two more doors. We have one to this world right here, and another one that leads to this world. Hmm, I wonder what that place is. Sunlight Storm and Broken Highway. In the next episode, we will head towards the Broken Highway. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. It really, really helps me out. I do apologize for the scarcity of these videos. May and June have been super, super busy. Uh, but I have a few days off now, and I'm hoping to be able to put a very solid dent into this series. Uh, remember that there are things showing up right now, and uh, never give up. Never surrender. To the elements? Never surrender to the elements? Yeah.